Well, Melanie Moore with Wild Birds Unlimited of Greenville has got some great tips and ideas on how to help your kids go from going screen to going green. I'm still on that line. I love yes, it. Yes, I love you, it. You came up with that. That is, <laughs> that is so cool. Well, this is just fun. And birds and watching birds, like, eat at your house, it's just so, it's just it, something so neat it about It is. That. And kids need to be outdoors more. Yeah. So, we're going to make a bird feeder well, today. We're going to make a bird feeder. we get them outside. All right, tell me where to start. First thing. Get a milk jug, okay. clean and dry. Got a three inch square. Okay. Have about two and two and a half inches here to give you a little space. Okay. Cut out the square. What did you did you use scissors to cut it out? Use scissors. Okay. Use some markers, and you'll want to measure it. Measure it. Okay. So you have enough space. Perfect. So then once you've got it all taken care of, measured out. Yep. You'll just want to cut with your scissors. Okay. And you know, as I always remind people. Moms and dads may need to use the scissors at times when you got little ones. Yeah, so I say, that's the boring part. Yeah. I'll do that part. You can do the fun stuff. So, and then you can cut around here okay. just to give it a little more space and dimension. All right. So next, what you'll want to do is you'll make a hole okay. for the perches. Okay. And so you'll have about a quarter of an inch. In between it. Okay. And then on the other side, you're going to have about a half an inch so that they can slide underneath here. Okay, just make a little perch for them. Makes okay. a little perch. Then the next part, just make the holes up here so you can run your string through here to make it hang. Okay. Because when you hang this, you're going to want to put it in a tree or on a pole or something. Okay. Put it where you can see it so you and your kids can enjoy it. Yeah. So... After you've got it all set, I just let the kids throw the food in here. A lot of birds are going to be coming around right now. Yeah. Cardinals, chickadees, tip mice. The more they learn about the birds, the more they're going to be into how many birds did you see or, you know, different things about them. And it's crazy once you start feeding them, because, like, we moved into a new house and it didn't have a lot of, we said, nature. And it, so we started, you know, putting a bird feeder out. And then slowly but surely, I'm like, look. Like they they just come. Yes. But I always tell parents to remind kids, they find this by sight, the birds do. They may come immediately, okay. or it may take them several weeks to get used so to having them. don't if they don't. Exactly. Don't give up. Just be patient. But once they come, they're going to continue to come. So make sure you stay stocked with birds. Stay stocked and be patient. Okay. Now, what's the best kind of, like, bird feeder and food that you should use? Well, there's so many different types of feeders. You know, here we've got tube feeders. Yeah. We've got hoppers. There are so many different types, but one key thing is always having food that the birds can eat. They love sunflower, shelled sunflower, but peanuts. It's amazing the birds that love peanuts. What about, like, guys always feel like we have, like, old bread or something. We'll flip, throw that out. Is well, that the, good or bad? Well, the or? thing about bread and stuff, it doesn't have, I was, it's kind of like eating kids' junk food. Uh, it has a lot no of fillers. Of it doesn't yeah. have the nutrients. So okay. that's the thing with that. And then with the pine cones, this has a lot of nutrients. Putting the peanut butter and the seed on it, easy for kids to do. To do. Now, where are some of the um, parks that you want to go I to? I think great thing? places to go would be Conesty, yeah. the Lake Conesty Nature Park, Cleveland Park. But one of my favorites is your own backyard. You can see so much in your own backyard and make memories there. I love it, and I love this pole too that you that you got. Where, where did you get that? We have this pole at our oh, store. Good. Okay. You can you build this pole the way you want it. Oh, you yeah. make it the height you want, single arms, double arms, anything you want, you make it the way you want. You at the where is your store? It is on Congaree Road. Okay. And it is close near between Strassner's and Rafferty's, kind of along that way. Yes, yes. That's exactly what it is. Thank you so much for coming on. And your and your website is. Greenville.wbu.com. You can kind of learn more about it and yes. pick them out. Thank you, Melanie. That's Thank you, cool. Megan. That's great.